All right, hello everybody out there. I'm going to do a review on these ET Sair 14500 rechargeable lithium ion batteries that I picked up on eBay. Here's the listing here. I'll post a picture of it as well. These are 20 batteries for 1885, so less than a dollar a battery. Sounds like a pretty good deal. And these batteries are claiming to be 2,800 milliamp hours per battery. And we're going to put that to the test here and, uh, and see what they actually come out to be as far as capacity. So, I've got my Opus charger. I've got the batteries here, brand new. Still in the package, haven't even taken the uh, plastic wrapping off of them yet. As you can see, 14,500, 28 milliamp hours, 3.7 volt with the ion battery. So let's give them a test. Got to open the plastic jacket here there's two test four of them here so there so I got four so on the charger we're going to Hold the mode button so it selects all bays and we're going to put the mode on the test mode and what the test mode does on these uh, Opus if you're not familiar is the first thing it does is it charges the battery up to uh, 4.2 volts and then it does a discharge on the, on the battery and from there it calculates the milliamp hours that it can that the capacity of the battery has once it reaches uh, the discharge level which I believe is 2.8 volts um, it, it calculates the like I said the total uh, milliamp hours that uh, the battery has in it and then it charges it back up to the 4.2 and then that test is done it'll take some time so we'll get these started and I will test these at um, one amp one amp uh, charge and discharge. So the first thing you do is we put all the batteries in. You can see they're showing 4.02 right from the right from the factory. And then from here we select the current from 500, 700 to 1 amp. So 1 amp each is what we'll do. Once this stops blinking, the process will begin. And there we go. And so from here we can roll through the display, go back to, so right now it's at, they're all at 4.02 volts, and that's right from, uh, right from the factory. He's actually got here much sooner, they were supposed to be here on the 30th of, of March, and um, they actually got here uh, about a week early, so um, pretty, good, pretty good time on the, the shipping. But uh, I'm curious to see if the claim of 2800 milliamp hours is actually what these batteries um, actually have in them. So once this test is done, I will uh, come back and uh, show you what I found. All right, folks, we're back. The uh, test has been fully completed. Um, and let's see what we got for results. Like I said, these batteries are rated at 2,800 milliamp hour for capacity. I kind of thought that was highly doubtful and sure enough I was right. These batteries, brand new, out of the package, they're testing at around 400 milliamp hours for capacity. You can see here on the uh, on the charger here, this one is 396, 397, 405. This one here is the highest out of the bunch at 413. So, right around 400 milliamp hours 
is what you can expect out of these ET SAIR, ET S A I R, uh, 14500 batteries. And um, yeah, I think I'll be sending an email to the seller and, and see if they can explain why these batteries are well below the 2800 milliamp hour advertised rate. And I did test a couple more of these earlier, and I'll let you know that both of those both tested out at 400 as well. So it's very consistent, it looks like, out of these batteries. I'll test the rest of them um, and, uh, and see, what, see what those come out to as well. But anyways, that's a video. ET Serre 14500 batteries around 400 milliamp hours.